Hello and welcome to the Armour 3 E3 Diving Showcase. We'll take a quick run through of a simple mission, pointing out some of the new features along the way. So starting off in our SDV, we'll hop into the commander seat and take a peek through the periscope. Straight away we can start thinking about the gameplay potential, things like marking targets for an aerial strike, inserting units behind enemy lines, etc. I think it's useful to mention because it helps reinforce the idea that, although we're underwater, we're still part of the same enormous world. We can interact with it, impact upon it, be part of a larger force, which enables us to do a wider range of more interesting things. The onboard displays here create a more natural feeling of connection with the vehicle. We can use them for navigation, for situational awareness, even aiming, and it's a brand new feature for A3. So I've got directional control and authority over the sub's buoyancy, meaning that I can maneuver quite easily around obstacles, making the STV useful in a variety of roles, particularly for navigating quickly across the large expanses of the coastline. Up ahead, we can spot a couple of enemy divers. We'll approach them, demonstrate a little underwater combat, and take a closer look at that wreck. It's worth noting that the weapon I'm using isn't a regular rifle. Although I can use this one on dry land, we can't just use any old weapon underwater. It's configured to use specific cavitating ammunition, and it's got quite a short effective range of around 30 or so meters. We can hear the sound of a helicopter above us, with the noise of its engine slightly muffled by dynamic sound filtering, part of the improvements we're making to the A3 sound engine. There's a lot of work gone into making this brand new environment, and although we're still at Alpha, and we'll need to do things like strangle the birds that I can hear chirping underwater, or tweak the volume of surface waves at increasing depths, it's still pleasing for the whole team to see their work gradually coming together and providing the potential for some pretty unique and interesting gameplay. The SDV, scuba diving, elements of combat, the new underwater environment generally, it can be thought of as a logical extension to what Armour 3 is all about. It's the big military sandbox, it's the freedom to pretty much use it however you like, and the potential to generate your own unscripted gameplay experiences. Okay, well, that's all we've got to show of diving for now. Thanks again for joining us, and keep a lookout for new videos over the next two weeks. Bye for now.